when the denominators are the same, add the numerators and keep the same denominator. You will have to reduce if you need to. x squared minus 5 over 2x squared plus 5 minus 4x over 2x squared. The denominators are the same. We add the numerators. Plus 5 minus 4x divided by 2x squared. Now we need to simplify. We we'll get x squared minus 5 plus 5 is 0. We get x squared minus 4x divided by 2x squared. When we factor x in the numerator, we obtain x times x minus 4 divided by 2x squared. We can cancel x. x over x is 1. x minus 4. And 2x squared divided by x is 2x. So the answer is x minus 4 divided by 2x. For number 2, we need to remember to subtract the whole thing, y plus 15. We're going to keep 7y minus 3. The denominator stays the same. y squared minus 9 minus y. We distribute the negative sign over y minus 15. Negative 1 times 15. Now we can simplify the numerator. 7y minus y, 6y, negative 3 plus negative 15, negative 18, divided by y plus 3 times y minus 3, y squared minus 9. We get, when we factor out 6, we multiply it by y minus 3 over y plus 3 times y minus 3. y minus 3 cancel and the final answer is 6 over y plus 3. The denominators are the same so we just add the numerators 3x plus 4x plus 3x over 5. 3x plus 4x, 7x, plus 3x, 10x. So the answer is 10x over 5, and 10 over 5 is 2. When we divide 10 by 5, we get 2. So the final answer is 2x. For number 2, x plus y plus z divided by 2c. And that's the final answer. 5x minus 3 minus 2x. The common denominator is 4x minus 4. 5 minus 2 is 3. So when we simplify, we get 3x minus 3 over 4x minus 4. Now, 3 is the greatest common factor. 3 times x minus 1. 4 is the greatest common factor. 4 times x minus 1 x minus 1 get cancelled. The answer is 3 fourths. The denominators are the same. We just add 
the numerator 7 plus 3 minus 2 over 4y. 10 minus 2 is 8. 8 over 4y. 8 over 4 is 2. So it's 2 over y. We can add the numerators and keep the same denominator 2b plus 3 over 2b plus 3 which is equal to 1. For number 1, the denominators are the same. We add the numerators 3p plus 8 plus 2p plus 7 divided by p squared minus 4. Three P plus two P five P plus eight plus seven fifteen P squared minus four. Now we we are we are done because let's face it when we factor five we get P plus three. When we factor the denominator we get p plus 2 times p minus 2. x squared plus 16 divided by 4 minus x minus 8x divided by 4 minus x. Same denominator, we can put the put them together x squared plus 16 minus 8x divided by 4 minus x which can be rearranged as x squared minus 8x plus 16 divided by 4 minus x my product is 16, my sum negative, negative 8. Those two integers are negative 4 and negative 4. This is a perfect square. So x minus 4 times x minus 4 over 4 minus x. Now, we must remember that x minus 4 over 4 minus x is equal to negative 1. A number over is opposite. So when we cross cancel, we multiply x minus 4 by negative 1. And our answer, if we distribute, will be 4 minus x.